All right, with Father's Day graduations, 4th of July on the way, there are so many reasons to celebrate with a great getaway. Travel Zoo's senior editor Gabe Saglia joins us again to tell us where to find the best deals. Loving the bow tie. And that's first of all. And then second like of this? all, I do. It looks great. I love you're in the spirit already. It seems like we're going to get good deals on places where it is going to be pretty hot. That's always the case. As we head toward the summer season, uh, temperatures go up in some of our favorite destinations, including Florida, including the southeast in general, uh, south of the border, tropical destinations. Yeah, the temperatures go up and prices come down. So you've got to deal with, uh, you know, some weather issues potentially, but the valleys oftentimes ask so darn good. It's, it's just that much easier to, to, uh, to not really uh, care as much about it being perfect, you know, the weather being perfect every single day. Uh, a couple of things is you're, if you're planning on a 4th of July getaway, uh, folks, uh, it's on a Tuesday this year the 4th of July and that actually benefits us it's less of a of a long holiday weekend it's uh, prices and demand are, are, are just softer because it's sort of toward that middle of the week uh, so if you are planning a last minute getaway I think there's just better availability than we've in some, seen in some previous sort of long weekend holiday periods uh, as we head toward uh, the, the birthday of the greatest country on the planet right so uh, let's discuss where some of, the, some of these valleys are Florida itself uh, as I travel the country and discuss places to go over the summer season and I'm always pointing toward the, uh, the Sunshine State because we know that this is when prices begin to come down. Um, if you want to keep it in state, uh, a lot of great uh, values to be had in southern Florida. In Miami, the Biltmore Hotel uh, Coral Gables, iconic four-diamond property down there. Um, uh, prices uh, down to $199 a night. During the winter season, you're looking at two to three times a price point like that. Um, we published a Four Seasons Miami earlier this week at $199. So a lot of these high-end properties in southern uh, Florida starting to go on sale. These are prices that still are valid over a 4th of July uh, getaway um, uh, because it's sort of toward the middle of the week. So you want to keep that in mind if you want to keep it local. I get a lot of emails about Las Vegas. Summer is a time when Vegas does come down in price. Still, midweek is going to be your favorite time to go. And because the 4th is on a Tuesday, we are seeing some great availability there. I was checking the Venetian, uh, which is that famous five-star resort there on the Strip, all suite property, my favorite. Uh, 135 my favorite. over the 4th of there. July. Uh, so you've got refined tastes. It's good to see. And, and a lot of these other resorts um, that are maybe just four star for the rest of us um, are in some cases below uh, 70, 60 dollars a night, uh, even a sort of a, a, over a fourth. Of, and by the way, the fourth of July in Vegas, it's not just one show. They do multiple shows from multiple rooftops. It's really quite a spectacular uh, thing to see there in, in Sin City. You bring over just a little bit of self-control and all of a sudden Sin City becomes a pretty, pretty, uh, you know, easy thing to do. All right. So, and you also have some places. Um, one of them, Costa Rica, and then, uh, well, actually, a great deal there as well. That one's also one ninety nine a night. So, so they, yeah. So keep in mind, anything that's tropical, anything in, in south, south of the border, anything in Central America, anything in the Caribbean, is going to be on sale over the summer season, even over the Fourth of July. Uh, if, if you want sort of an international getaway, this is a property in Costa Rica called the Hacienda Alta Gracia. Is in one of the more uh, totally unspoiled areas of southern Costa Rica. It opened up last year. Condé Nast called it one of the best brand new hotels in the world. So this is just a luxury, uh, exotic, uh, sort of nature-driven getaway. Yeah, $199 a night there, for Gabe. a suite at this property. <laughs> Uh, it's so nice. I mean, I, I have a colleague who actually visited for research purposes this property a couple <laughs> yes, of months ago, and purposes. she was just blown away, <laughs> blown away by, by, this, uh, by this resort. Uh, and you're going to find some great values over the summer. And then in Mazatlan, uh, which uh, the um, New York, which Forbes called uh, probably the least expensive Mexican destination for 2017, property they call the Estrella del Mar, which is a four-star property on three and a half miles of beach in Mazatlan. Five nights in an ocean view room for, for 295 bucks. So really south of the border in Mexico, uh, because it's summer and because the dollar still is so strong against the Mexican peso, really becomes one of these really, uh, you know, super affordable destinations uh, as we head toward the 4th of July and as we head toward summer uh, overall. Uh, and also big cities, by the way, if you want to do, uh, you know, a 4th of July getaway, because business travel slows down on a holiday week like fourth, the 4th of July, New York, Chicago, uh, you know, San Francisco, all these big city uh, destinations uh, go on sale as well. So really, it's, it's there for the taking. It's just a matter of where do you want to go next? All right, thank you. And Travel Zoo is the place to find all those deals. And again, if you'd like to learn That's more, it. we're going to post a link later on the Morning Show page of news4jacks.com.